It is said that the first 50 years of childhood are always the most challenging. And for Central Indiana's first and only Jewish day school, those 50 years of caring for the collective childhood of the Jewish community has certainly included challenges. But more importantly, they have been 50 years filled with accomplishment, excellence, and the successful transmission of Jewish heritage, Lidor Vidor, from generation to generation. Founded in 1971, the Haston Hebrew Academy has, over the past half century, grown into an acclaimed and widely recognized institution of Jewish and secular learning. At this juncture of the school's golden jubilee year, let's have a quick look at its founding, its focus, and its future. Launched by a handful of dedicated parents and far-sighted clergy, the Haston Hebrew Academy's beginnings may be traced to the arrival to Indianapolis of a dedicated young clergyman, Rabbi Ronald Gray, hired to take over the pulpit of B'nai Torah Synagogue. Shortly after Gray's arrival to Indianapolis in 1970, he became painfully aware of the city's dubious distinction. I discovered that I had arrived to the largest Jewish community in America that did not have a Jewish day school. To a school that was unheard of in this community and whose purpose and goal was most unclear was really the greatest human sacrifice that one could make. But you did it. He went to work immediately to rectify the situation and began knocking on doors and rounding up supporters. With his forthright manner and boyish charm, Rabbi Gray received a warm reception from the parents of school-age children he enlisted from all branches of Judaism. This group formed the nucleus of the school's founding board. Its mission, one that has endured to this day, is to provide quality education to all segments of the Jewish community. The obstacle, not surprisingly, was a financial one. Where would the parents find the funding to launch a viable accredited day school? I mentioned Israel this was established. There was a gentleman by the name of Theodor Herzl, and he said, and I quoted his in Hebrew, Im tirzu enzu agada. If you will it, it is no dream. And as soon as I said that, Everybody started applauding, and I was the Rabbi Gray right away said, and I nominate Hard Hasted to be the chairman of the ad hoc committee to start a day school. That night we decided definitely to go ahead, and we chose Hard Hasted to be our chairman. Yeah. And we chose Eddie Epstein to be our first principal, and Carol Scheidler to be our first secular teacher. For an open school concept, grades kindergarten through three, we had 18 children to start with, and my daughter was in the third grade that year. She tells me to this very day that it was the best decision we ever made. But it was more than merely money that the rabbi's earliest allies brought to bear. The brothers Haston, Hart and Mark, were Holocaust survivors who had settled in Indianapolis in the 1960s and founded a successful string of nursing homes. They had come from other larger Jewish communities and understood the value of day school education, not just for their own children, but also for the enduring continuity of the Jewish people. The Hastings became Gray's first sponsors in his quest to establish the new school. Key among these was the Lilly Endowment that agreed to provide a matching grant to the fledgling school, enabling it to open its doors in September of 1971. Initially housed in synagogue classrooms, the academy grew quickly, adding a kindergarten, 
a preschool, and a new grade each year till in 1978, it graduated its first class of middle schoolers at its newly constructed facility on Hoover Road. Thanks to the ongoing support of the Haston families and many others, the Academy expanded over the ensuing years, both physically and in the scope of its positive impact on the community it continues to serve. It also developed a national and international reputation. The school frequently hosted celebrated visiting dignitaries, such as Nobel Peace Prize laureate Elie Wiesel. Israeli Prime Minister Menachem Begin Simon Wiesenthal and others Over the ensuing years, as the Academy's reputation for academic excellence, as well as its enrollment grew, it gained community support from both parents and from donors. The enduring support of the Haston family was officially recognized at the school's 25th anniversary celebration in 1996, when the school was renamed the Haston Hebrew Academy of Indianapolis. There are exciting things that are lying ahead. First of all, as we approach the year 2000, there's no question that we have to keep up with all of the technology that's happening in educational, in educational circles, um, and we hope that we will build an infrastructure within the school itself. Uh, the 25th anniversary is not just a milestone or a watershed. I think it's a great historic event in the, in the history of our own school and in the community. I think what is so unique about this school is I think we're a real family. We are one, we're together. We work yeah, together. We would like to educate all the children so that they can continue on with their Judaism and they can teach it to their children. They'll be role models for their children and for their grandchildren. I think the future of the school lies in our hands and in our hearts. As of August 2022, the Academy enjoys an enrollment of 139 students. It serves families from across the Jewish community and provides a four to one student to teacher ratio. It may, without question, be accurately described as cross communal. Since its inception, hundreds of students have attended the school, and today, roughly 20% of the student body is composed of children of former students. While many graduates remain in Indianapolis after completing their education, a large number have relocated to cities across the U.S., Israel, and elsewhere, taking along the Jewish values and traditions they learned at the academy, and enriching the quality of Jewish life wherever they have settled. The Academy has, in recent years, 
received abundant acknowledgement of its academic excellence. The exceptional level of performance by its students and faculty has distinguished the school to a degree far out of proportion to its size. A few of the dozens of awards and recognitions the school has garnered over the years include the prestigious Kohelet Prize, an award for creating an interactive Holocaust museum, named a four-star school based upon its exemplary ratings on state achievement tests, including the highest in the state for science. Elementary level science teacher Dawn Bick, who in 2021 was named one of the top three national recipients of the Presidential Award of Excellence in Math Science Teaching. Engineering skills, artistic skills, technology skills, Jewish history and research skills in understanding anti-Semitism. Our goal is rich instruction, building Jewish fluency, and forging inspiring Jewish identity. We are so proud to produce tomorrow's confident Jewish leaders in every field of endeavor. This focus on STEM makes the school unique and particularly attractive to parents who value physical engagement as a learning technique for their children. Another example of the Academy's accomplishments in this area is the fact that for the past six years, its students have been invited to present at the annual International Society for Technology Education Conference, making it the only school in Indiana and the only Jewish day school in the nation that has earned this distinction. Thanks to the efforts of the school's technology coordinator, Michael Voskoboynik, Academy students are developing advanced coding and computer skills that enable them to create projects suitable for presentation on an international stage. Athletic accomplishment is likewise part of the Academy's commitment to excellence. Despite being the smallest school in the Indianapolis Independent School League, the school has won four league championships in volleyball with players receiving their gold medals in the Bankers Life Fieldhouse, the home of the NBA's Indiana Pacers. Perhaps the most prestigious academic distinction was recently earned in 2022 by the national winner of the Library of Congress's Letters About Literature contest, Naomi Cohen, great-granddaughter of one of the school's founders and namesakes Mark Haston of Blessed Memory. Over the past six years, the school has produced Indiana State winners in this annual competition that asks middle school students to write an imaginary letter to the author of an inspiring book they had read. Interestingly, this LAL award was twice won by another of Mark Haston's great-granddaughters, Yael Cohen. Mark's surviving brother, Hart, remains active in the life of the school and was honored on his 90th birthday when a leaf on the beautiful mosaic Tree of Life mural in the school's lobby was dedicated in his honor. I would like to say that much of my success was due to the outstanding staff that we had, the wonderful uh, teaching staff, as well as our administration, our administrator, Sylvia Blaine. So wishing you the best and an outstanding celebration of these past 50 years. Thank you. Therefore, it's with very special feelings, warm feelings, first of all, to the community in Indianapolis, which we all have very fond memories of the 15 years we were privileged to spend there. Uh, and we hope that you'll go mechayel lechayel from one wonderful uh, milestone to the next one. So mazel tov to everybody. We, we began to develop which is now the leadership of a number of Jewish communities with children and grandchildren who are carrying on our tradition. It was great working with the staff, uh, with the Haston family and all those others that helped to bring the school to its prominence. And uh, I wish you only the best in the future of the school. I had the privilege of seeing firsthand how the school's dual curriculum provides students with an education they can take with them as they move on to high school and college and which will help them build Jewish lives. I saw the commitment of teachers, both secular and Judaic, to their students. I see that it has not lost its drive to continue to be a top-notch educational institution. It's really a momentous occasion that we can celebrate more than 50 years of quality uh, 
general and Jewish education. And of course, this has been a jewel in the crown for our community. So thank you. I can say without hesitation that deciding to send my children to this school was the single greatest parenting decision I made, not just for them, but for our whole family. As a result, we turned our very small family into a large village full of the loving family that we have chosen. And I'm proud knowing that this incredible institution has done the same for countless families over 50 years of service to this community. As the school's leadership stands at today's 50-year milestone, it is not only looking back at its exemplary past successes, it is also looking ahead to the challenges the school will face as it enters its second half century. And so, as the torch is passed to the next generation of Academy leadership, it continues to burn brightly, lighting the steps of our community's coming generations, generations marked by high standards of excellence and guided by the teachings of our people, generations of continued greatness, generations of gold.